How's it going, people? And happy April Fool's Day. Don't know why I bothered mentioning that, since I'll probably upload this on another day. Yeah, brought a new friend. It's called Wipeout! It's got some a surfer bipping on a on a wave. That's pretty. Oh, but damn! Look at, the, look at the head on that thing. God damn it. Must have been pouring too fast. Alright. Let's see where we are. That's right. We are on chapter 6. And it looks juicy. Yeah. Alright. The story of the Jaredites continued, their vessels lighted by miracle. Through the depths of the sea to the promised land, the people desire a king. Oh boy. Their leaders foresee evil, but yield to the popular will. Death of Jared and his brother. Did he ever get a name? Jared hasn't done doesn't hasn't done anything except tell his brother to do things for him. God damn, this is some this is some heady stuff. Hey. Oh. <laughs> I got this coming out of out of work today. And oh, you're welcome. <laughs> yeah. They got to clear the planet. And they said I can take video if I want or pictures. They don't mind as long as I bring my ass. <laughs> and make sure there's a wallet <laughs> stuffed in it. Hey. hey. Wow, this is some heady stuff. All right, enough digression. One, and now I, Moroni, proceed to give the record of Jared and his brother. Yes, Jared's brother's name was lost to history, huh? So it's a mystery. Two, four. It came to pass. Ah, ooh, that is so nice. It's tubular. After the Lord had prepared the stones which the brother of Jared had carried up into the mount. The brother of Jared came down out of the mount, and he did put forth the stones into the vessels, which were prepared one at each end thereof. And behold, they did give light under the vessels. It's like one of those Dungeons and Dragons magic items. <laughs> And thus the Lord caused stones to shine in darkness. It was a brother Jared's idea to give light unto men, women, and children that they might not cross the great waters in darkness. And it came to pass that when they had prepared all manner of food, 
that thereby they might subsist upon the water, and also food for their flocks and herds and whatsoever beast or animal or fowl that they should carry with them. And it came to pass, in the middle of verse 1, Just, woo, tubular. Now I know why they think of waves and wipeouts, all that foam. It's still good, though. It's that when they had done all these things, they got aboard their vessels or barges, if you prefer. It's a few choice. And set forth into the sea, commending themselves unto the Lord their God. <sighs> and it came to pass. God caused that there should be a furious wind that should be a furious wind blow upon the face of the waters towards the promised land. I'm sure the Gulf Stream helped a little too. And thus they were tossed upon the waves of the sea before the wind. He couldn't have just picked him up and set him down over there. This is a do-it-yourself guy. Six. And it came to pass. <coughs> and so it did. They were many days buried in the depths of the sea because of the mountain waves which broke upon them and also the great and terrible tempests which were caused by the fierceness of the wind. Seven. And it came to pass uh, that when they were buried in the deep, there was no water that could hurt them, their vessels being tight like unto a dish. And also, they were tight like unto the Ark of Noah. So they wanted to dish that example out. Huh? Therefore, when they were encompassed about by many waters, they did cry unto the Lord for propulsion. Cry unto the Lord, and he did bring them forth again upon the top of the waters. Eight. And it came to pass. <coughs> oh, thank you.
This thing climbs up on you. You gotta be careful. And that's it. Wipe out. Foamy. Foamy goodness. And it came to pass that the wind had ceased to blow towards the promised land while they were upon the waters. And thus they were driven forth before the wind. That's the best God can do. That's pretty... <sighs> Couldn't just use his magic, huh? He uses magic, but in a way that it almost doesn't seem so magical. He used the wind. Nine. And they did sing praises unto the Lord. Yea, the brother of Jared did sing praises unto the Lord. And he did thank and praise the Lord all the day long. And when the night came, they did not cease to praise the Lord. It's a regular fest. Uh, ten. And thus they were driven forth, and no monster of the sea could break them. Uh, of their. Uh, neither whale that could mar them. Because you know those whales would really want to do that. Yeah, they're so fucking mean. They make great bacon, though. At least that's what Stowalker says. <sighs> and they did have light continually, like you said before. But we might have forgotten, so thanks. Whether it was above the water or under the water. So we needed to know that. But now we now we got it down. Eleven. And thus. They were driven forth 344 days. They had that much food with them, huh? <sighs> Upon the, the water. 344 days, huh? 12. <coughs> And they did land upon the shore of the promised land. And when they had set their feet upon the shores of the promised land, they bowed themselves down upon the face of the land, and did humble themselves before the Lord, and did shed tears of joy before the Lord because of the multitude of his tender mercies over them. Thirteen. And it came to pass They went forth upon the face of the land and began to till the earth. 14. And Jared had four sons, and they were called Jackam and Gilgah and Maha and Oraha. 15. And the brother of Jared also beget sons and daughters, and who cares what their names are? <laughs> we don't even care what his name is anymore. He's going to die soon anyway. Abandonment issues. Just going to leave us like that. All right. <laughs> Sixteen. And the friends of Jared and his brother were in number about twenty and two souls. 
<laughs> and they also began begat sons and daughters before they came to the promised land, and therefore they began to be many. We need to get some empires, you know, and all that. Seventeen. And they were taught to walk humbly before the Lord. And they were also taught from on high. Best way. Eighteen. And it came to pass. Oh shit, it comes to pass quite a bit. I might need to get some more beer. Uh, kind of reminds me of Sierra Nevada. Kind of that piney hop taste. That they began to spread upon the face of the land. Oh, and to multiply. And to till the earth, like you said before. And they did wax wrong in the land. 19. And the brother of Jared began to be old. And saw that he must soon go down to the grave. Wherefore, he said unto Jared, <laughs> Let us gather... <laughs> Together are people that we may number them, that we may know of them that they will desire of us before we go down to our graves. Twenty. And accordingly, the people were gathered together. Now the number of the sons and the daughters of the brother of Jared were twenty and two souls. And the number of the sons and daughters of Jared were twelve. A magic number. He having four sons. Twenty-one. And it came to pass. I'm going to have to slow down if I'm going to make this one last. Man, that piney taste is starting to take over as I drank it. It's like a like somebody spilled pine salt into it. Uh, missed my old job. I might have to go to the fridge and get one. Alright. That they did number their people, and after they had numbered them, they did desire of them the thing which they that they would that they should do before they went down to their graves. That's Jared and the other guy. The other guy who did everything. 22. And it came to pass. Uh, I'm going to go get some other beer. This is starting to overwhelm me. Sorry I had to break off like that, but I was getting overwhelmed by Wipeout. It deserves a name it has. It, it was fine at first, but I couldn't even finish the thing. Ugh, that piney taste. It's like, it just got stronger and stronger. This is all I'm doing tonight. Uh, I can hear him next door. I mean, it's uh, 4.30 p.m. That doesn't mean they're not going to bang on the wall. It was like 6, 6.30 last, when they did the last time. All right, let's finish this. 22. And it came to pass. people desired of them that they should anoint one of their sons to be a king over them. 23. 
And now, behold, this was grievous unto them. And the brother of Jared said unto them, Surely this thing leadeth into captivity. 24. But Jared said unto his brother, Suffer them that they may have a king. It's about time he did something. And therefore he said unto them, Choose ye out from among our sons. Got to be one of them, though. My family's still in charge. We don't care what you call it. Even whom ye will. But it's got to be one of his sons. One of their sons. Jared and his unnamed brother. 25. And it came to pass. that they chose even the firstborn of the brother of Jared. You'd think he'd born a name. And his name was Pagag. And it came to pass in the same fucking verse. Used and would not be their king. I don't know. King Pagag sounds pretty damn lofty to me. And the people would that his father should constrain him, but his father would not. And he commanded them that they should constrain no man to be their king. And it came to pass uh, that they chose all the brothers of Pagag and they would not. So it's one of the four Jared boys. And it came to pass that neither would the sons of Jared, even all save it were one. And Oranaiha was anointed to be king over the people. The rest are pussies. <laughs> they can't take command. Alright. 28. And he began to reign, and the people began to prosper, and they became exceedingly rich. 29. And it came to pass. that Jared died. At least he had a name. And his brother also. 30. And it came to pass. Ugh. That or an eye -haw, did walk humbly before the Lord and did remember how great things the Lord had done for his father and also taught his people how great things the Lord had done for their fathers and that's it for six that's about all I can stand I hope you learned something and this was worthwhile it was kind of fun uh, 
Let me know if you learned something from that. Peace. The fuck. Out. Have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having. And stay tuned.